In this tutorial, I'll show you how to get started using Image Converter Plus. Once you install ICP, you'll find this icon on your desktop. You can launch the interface to convert and customize your images, or you can just right-click on an image file. You'll see a preview of the image, and just above that, the words Convert To. Click on Convert To, and you'll see a list of available profiles. Each profile represents a whole group of conversion settings that you can use all at once. For instance, this profile creates a thumbnail. It will convert my image to JPEG format with 24-bit color at 75% quality, and it will also resize my image to 128 pixels square. I can save my thumbnail to a folder on my hard drive, upload it to an FTP server, send it by email, or share it on a Picasso web album. I'll choose my hard drive. I click on the folder I'd like to use, and I'm done. Image Converter Plus converts, resizes, and saves my image in the background. It's easy. But what if the conversion I want isn't on my list of profiles? That's when you'll use the ICP icon on your desktop and open the interface. Here you can see and change all of your settings. For instance, I'll go to the drop-down menu at the top and choose the same profile we were just using on the desktop. As you can see, this profile converts my image to JPEG format with 24-bit color at 75% quality and resizes the image to 128 by 128 pixels. Now I can change any of these settings. I can add more operations to rotate my images, crop them down, add meta tags to make them easy to find online, and more. Each operation includes special settings to fine-tune its effects. I can convert my images to any of these popular formats. As before, I can send my images to a folder, an FTP server, an email address, or a web album. I can choose my specific destination by name, or pick one from the drop-down menu. And finally, I can enter a file name for my converted images, use this default code to keep the original file name with the new file type, or I can adapt the name so I'll always know which is the original and which is the conversion. Now I can click on Save As to store all of these settings as a new custom profile. The next time I right-click on an image and choose Convert To, my list of profiles will include this brand new choice. Or I can apply my new settings right here in the interface, whether I save them as a new profile or not. I just open the Photos tab and import the images I'd like to convert. I can click Add Images and choose an image from my hard drive. I can add a whole folder full of images at once. Or I can just drag and drop images from the desktop. Now I go back to the Profiles tab and click Start at the bottom. And I'm done. Image Converter Plus applies my operations to all of the images I just imported, converts them to the file format I chose, sends them to my destination, and gives them the file names I selected. Thanks for watching. To learn more, please visit www.imageconverterplus.com/video.